Hello friends, welcome to wisdomjobs.com. My name is Ashok. In this video, I am going to discuss about the critical radius of insulation. This uh, topic, critical radius of insulation, uh, is pertaining to this more, uh, heat transfer. You can see this uh, topic in heat transfer subject. And in general, any level of education uh, you are in, uh, you can have a general idea about this thing. Because uh, we will be discussing more of uh, general perspective initially. Later on, uh, means uh, further in this discussion, in this video, I am going to give you the expression for critical radius of insulation, which is uh, uh, academically, which is useful. Initially, uh, something will be discussed in general. Okay. So, I hope you have been uh, following our videos uh, as a part of our science and engineering and other modules you can see in our wisdomjobs.com. Do like, share uh, and uh, comment about our videos and also try to subscribe and uh, press the bell icon because uh, we have been doing uh, so many videos in on so many modules so you can uh, be updated about that videos okay so we will be giving such videos more and more let us see so in this initially you can see this uh, uh, critical radius of insulation as i have written here the same critical radius of insulation can also be sometimes uh, given in uh, uh, discussions or uh, numericals they consider they write it as uh, critical thickness of insulation critical thickness of insulation uh, what exactly this uh, means there is a, a little difference between this critical radius and critical thickness how do you arrive with this uh, thickness means what is the basic difference between this radius and thickness we will try to understand while we derive this expression also so initially let us uh, move ahead with uh, the discussion of this so we you could see in these pictures uh, it is obvious electrical cables have shown and uh, in general everyone knows so the core conductor core material whatever you have stripped wire it is indicated here that uh, bare material whatever uh, you have that is the actual conductor of that electricity but along with this electricity due to this uh, passage of uh, this current flow of current we know this uh, basic formula what is the formula for heat generated while uh, current is being carried I square R T. You know this formula based on this we can easily understand that whenever uh, an electrical conductor is carrying a current it can uh, have this heat flow also means a uh, heat is being generated means some part of the energy is being liberated in the form of heat. But here in this electrical conductors that heat is undesirable isn't it. So we need to liberate I mean we need to uh, move away take away that heat as much as possible from the electrical wells to make it uh, I mean to make it function properly isn't it so if the heat is being accumulated here if you are not uh, making any provision for uh, this heat to go away so this it will definitely cause certainly cause the damage to this wires so we need to take away that heat so for that and uh, as well as uh, main thing is electrical insulation is must also be provided so that uh, electrical insulation should not hinder this passage of heat transfer okay i mean uh, heat should be liberated but electrical losses must be uh, electrical losses must be avoided means uh, electrical energy must be retained so there must be some compromise i mean uh, there must be uh, some uh, critical thickness of means there must be some uh, thickness which would uh, satisfy these both conditions isn't it so that radius is called as critical radius not exactly that radius but uh, actually to speak the critical radius is nothing but where the heat transfer is maximum okay anyway that uh, with the theory the discussion will be different but uh, here try to remember that. so that uh, critical radius decides whether the thickness of the insulation should be up to certain level or not i mean uh, less than critical thickness or greater than critical thickness what you require isn't it so what is the thickness or uh, less than critical radius or more uh, greater than critical radius what exactly which dimension you require for this electrical wires okay so that thing we'll try to discuss and uh, for this as i have indicated so we require uh, heat dissipation but we have to retain this electrical I mean uh, we need to avoid this electrical losses so electrical insulation must be there electrical losses in the sense the other sense if you speak insulation is nothing but we need to avoid uh, 
that uh, whatever the uh, shocks, I mean, uh, whatever the electricity should not be passed outside this wires. And the other coatings, if you see this cable jacket, uh, just to hold these different wires, we can uh, use this cable jacket. And the other uh, layers of this uh, insulation, we cannot speak, but another layers of uh, coatings will be there over these wires to overcome various uh, uh, external forces like uh, any mechanical uh, forces like uh, mechanical bendings. So to avoid that, okay, and also to overcome this moisture, to overcome this uh, uh, moisture or humidity, to overcome corrosion, all these things. So for that, different layers of uh, insulation or different uh, layers of uh, coatings will be provided over these electrical wires. But our interest here is to understand about the insulation part, which avoids this uh, electrical losses and uh, uh, which will augment this heat loss. Okay, so let us move ahead. Another application here, where our critical uh, radius of insulation or critical thickness of insulation is being studied. So let us see. See here, in this. The first picture, if you see, uh, I ask you about this picture. What you understand from this? A pipe is being uh, coated with some material. Okay. So actually, to speak, the met a metal pipe, so which may carry anything, any fluid here. Okay. So which are going to buried under ground, and which have been uh, those uh, pipes are now coated with, nor uh, uh, we can say coating or lagged. Okay, so the lagged pipe, we all know. So what do you mean by this? Lagging. So external, some uh, layers are provided. That is called lagging. So wooden lagging is provided. So what could be the reason wooden lagging? Wood is bad conductor of electricity as well as heat. So that is why this uh, wooden layer is provided. Okay, so this is just a, to make you uh, understand, acquaint with this as any general application. So the applications may be many. So if you see in this picture, so this picture is intended to show you just uh, these things, some things. Uh, so what could be the various applications you can understand here. Uh, so these are the applications. just this picture is given to show you this. So a pipe may be carrying anything like uh, hot water, chilled water, any fuel oil, liquid nitrogen, carbon dioxide, condensate, any process piping, process piping in the sense, whatever the pipes you use in the processing equipment, okay, processing industries. Uh, like refineries, uh, like a pharmacy, okay, pharmaceutical companies, okay, whatever may be the application. Pipe carries different fluids. Okay, that fluids may be subjected to any temperature. Our goal now is to provide a suitable insulation such that it uh, appropriates the application. I Means suppose if you are using steam, using a steam pipe, so you need to avoid the losses of heat. So for that we need to provide suitable insulation. I Means uh, lagging must be done lagging in the sense uh, a layer must be provided which avoids the heat loss such that uh, steam will not lose its property okay so which may not uh, serve the purpose uh, exactly so that losses must be avoided insulation must be provided in this case so what should be the that steam case so what should be our intention we need to uh, design those uh, that layer insulation layer such that the heat losses will be uh, heat losses will be reduced to the maximum okay so for that we need to have some analysis that analysis that approach we can understand from this study of critical radius of insulation or critical thickness of insulation okay so these two uh, applications that is electrical cables and these uh, pipes i mean uh, pipes carrying various fluids so these two are the main applications we are uh, we are intended to study i mean uh, that is the main goal uh, here for this uh, critical radius of insulation this is in general perception i explained you so further and uh, one more example if i want to give you so you could see this uh, in this picture so most of you have uh, uh, noticed this might have noticed this in your homes or any offices uh, outside uh, uh, in buildings so you could have seen uh, this uh, this kind of copper tubes, copper tubes in being coated with foam, coated in the sense a layer is provided, a foam layer is provided 
So why those uh, foam layer is provided and particularly these type of tubes you would uh, see in this um, air conditioners, isn't it? So air conditioner uh, copper tubes will be insulated like this with foam. So why? To avoid this uh, heat losses, isn't it? So that is another application. So this is about uh, uh, what is the importance of critical radius of insulation means which determines so whether we need to provide so more thickness of insulation or less thickness of insulation based on the application that so which application requires which kind of thickness so it is obvious uh, electrical conductors i mean uh, electrical wires uh, require uh, the less thickness of insulation and uh, this uh, heat pipes or uh, whatever the pipes which carry uh, cold fluids or any anything which uh, carries uh, which requires uh, to avoid heat loss or uh, heat in or heat out so we need to avoid such things so we need to provide more thickness okay so what happens if you provide more thickness for electrical conductors and for uh, these uh, pipes so we will try to understand while we derive the expression while we analyze further okay so in that you can understand how exactly the thickness should be provided for these two applications let us move ahead uh, with uh, derive this uh, expression before that uh, you all know just to indicate uh, as a part of uh, just to make you uh, acquaint or uh, just to make you what you call uh, recollect something here you could see uh, in your uh, colleges, so mostly these engineering students or diploma students might have seen this equipment, lagged pipe apparatus. Okay. So uh, this is uh, this is pertaining to that thing. I mean, now this inside which this apparatus, some layers are provided, insulation layers are provided. Okay. So the, this equipment is uh, used to calculate this thermal conductivity of various uh, materials provided inside which we cannot see directly anyway. So inside we have different layers of insulation. Okay. So this is the video from our wisdomsjobs.com. Another video for you. Uh, we appreciate your suggestions. If you need more videos like such videos, you can uh, uh, freely comment in our comment box if you require something. Uh, and if you have any suggestions, please suggest in our uh, comment box regarding this video. Uh, we can clear, we are able to clear your doubts also. And keep liking, sharing this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.